a couple freelancing sites on the internet are Fiverr.com, Freelancer.com, and Upwork.com. And these are places where now you can offer some sort of service. Maybe you can be a writer or a graphic designer, or you can offer some sort of financial services. Or if you really don't have that many, you don't think technical skills, you can become a virtual assistant. So no matter what level of expertise or skill you have, Anybody can provide some sort of skill or value, and the person that you're providing this value to are typically small business owners. So I, for Minority Mindset and our companies, have used Upwork quite a bit. That is my personal favorite from the business side, and I actually just checked right before I recorded this how much money we've spent on Upwork over the past few years, and we have spent about a quarter million dollars on Upwork paying freelancers over the last few years. And the things that we pay our freelancers for are pretty much anything you can imagine. Anything from video editing, to being an actual writer for us, to being a graphic designer for us, to being an actual virtual assistant for me. So I had a couple virtual assistants that have worked with me on Upwork and these are people that will manage my email, that might manage my social media, that might manage other things for me to make my life easier. And so depending on what your interests are and what your skill level is, you can offer your services to businesses, to regular people who just want some of their time back in exchange for a fee. The one caveat that I do wanna mention regarding freelancing and pretty much everything else is that it does take time and effort to start getting your name and reputation out there because you need to start building reviews. And as you are just starting off, you're not gonna have any reviews, you're not gonna have any experience, so it's gonna be harder for you to land your first client. But after you can start landing your first client, after you can get a few five-star reviews, it's gonna be significantly easier for you to get more clients, and now you can become pickier and choosier of who you wanna work with, and then you can also bump up your rates. But in the beginning, you just gotta get your first couple clients, you gotta get a few five-star reviews, you gotta demonstrate your value, and once you can do that, then you can start charging more money and you can start picking the better clients and picking the more type of work that you wanna do. The second thing that you can do is try to find a company that allows you to work from home. So like here at the Minority Mindset Companies, if you work for Minority Mindset or Market Briefs, which is my financial newsletter, you have this flexible option to work from home pretty much whenever you want. What we do is we have a one day a week team day where people come into the office, uh, but generally you have the ability to work from home pretty much whenever you want. And so we have some team members that travel, some team members that live out of an RV, some team members that are currently touring the country. However, you have the flexibility to be able to work from home because we are a digital-based company. Now, if your company does not allow that, they don't allow you to work from home because most companies, even the fully remote ones, do have some sort of hybrid capacity where you have to go in once in a while, but there are some companies that are fully remote. So if you wanna completely work from home or if you wanna be able to travel, you wanna be able to work from somewhere else, you can do that, but you have to be able to find a company that allows you to do that. There's a couple sites on the internet. Now, I haven't used these myself, so I haven't verified them, but from the blogs and the reviews that I saw, they seemed like good legitimate companies. One of them is flexjobs.com, and the second is remote.co. Both of these two are job sites which are tailored to helping you find a work from home job, jobs that allow you to work from the comfort of wherever you want, so they're remote jobs. If your concern now is you don't have the skills or the knowledge or the ability to work from home because of whatever your degree is, then what you can consider doing is getting some sort of certificate. Maybe it's a data science certificate, maybe you learn some sort of coding language, it's a few thousand dollars typically. You can get a certificate online on your own schedule, but once you have the certificate, then you'll be qualified to be able to work many different types of work from home jobs because if you can do the job on the internet, there are some companies that will allow you to work fully remotely. So you need to know what type of job that you can do, what type of thing that you qualify for. And if you can qualify for that, then you just need to find a company that's hiring for that position. Third, if you don't mind being on the phone and you don't mind being on commission, you can also consider being an online salesperson. Now there's a lot of value here on the education side because if you know how to sell, that can translate to whatever industry that you go to because you know how to talk to people, you know how to get people to listen to you, and you know how to sell your product. So when I talk about online sales, this is typically gonna be something like financial services. Maybe you're selling mortgages, maybe you're selling insurance, and there's so much that you can learn here in terms of how to sell and how to work and how to do the follow-up and how to cold call people. The nice thing about being a salesperson, especially in these financial services spaces, is that you have the ability to make an unlimited amount of money. Like you can make a ton 
ton of money. When I say ton of money, I'm talking about six figures, maybe even potentially seven figures a year, depending on how good you are, depending on how well you have worked your way up at the company. Because if you're working for a big financial services company, a big brokerage that's selling insurance, big brokerage that's selling mortgages, if you're working for a big company and you can really prove yourself well, then you can work your way up and you really have no income limit, uh, just depending on how many hours you're willing to work. So if you're willing to put in the work, if you like learning how to sell, you can make a ton of money and learn a lot by being an online salesperson. And if you don't wanna go down the financial services route, there's also a lot of digital companies that are selling things called high ticket offers. These are products that are $1,000 or more. Some of them might be educational products, some of them might be software, some of them might be other things, white labeling things that you can sell on the internet where now you're on the phone with other business owners or potentially consumers trying to sell your product to the leads that come into these companies. And the way that you find that is really just through networking. Look at other entrepreneurs on the internet. You'll see this quite a bit where entrepreneurs, the social media entrepreneurs, they'll post on their story where they're looking for a high ticket salesperson and this is where now you can present yourself. Now, if you have no experience with sales, it's gonna be harder to sell yourself here, but one of the things that you can do is really just offer whatever services you have at a discounted price because you need to learn how to do it first. Once you know how to sell, well, then your income potential really just shoots up because now you can show the value that you have because if you can help a business sell their product, they'll be willing to pay you more money. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you gotta do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling.